Hello there, welcome back. This time I have a good news, very exciting news. Uh, it's about my boat's motor and, well, more about the uh, motor controller. I just, uh, it's under here, this is the uh, controller. That's the fan that I put there last summer to make it cooler and well this stick in here this is not good I use the uh, old uh, for throttle stick that was used in the uh, the gasoline engine that was there when I bought the boat and I just used that and it is, as you can see here under here you can see how it works or it should work yeah, the thing is, there's a wire cable, this one here, so the stick moves the cable this, like that, and it goes around and goes over the uh, potentiometer part that is controlling the throttle. And until today, it was... Um, well, configure figured like that uh, that it's it's when it's in the other end, it's like zero, and when it's in the other end, it's full. And to make it reverse, I had to use this kind of a knob over here. So uh, the thing is, it's like here zero. I move it forward. If I want to reverse, I had to put it like there, and then take this out and reverse and once again when I want to go forward I had to put it on zero neutral then push that and then and it, it was okay but it was not the best because in some situations when you are getting close to shore and you are looking for a place to anchor and where to put the boat the bow you know Throw the lines over there and that sort of stuff. And it's not that fast to make it like this and then and this and then yeah. It should go like normally in boats. So in, in the middle position it's ne neutral. In this it's gonna reverse and this forward. Yeah. But because the controller was configured well mostly like for cars or something like that so you have a different switch for reverse but now I look at the um, the web page where I bought the uh, controller it's the Kelly controllers over there and they had updated the, um, the software where I can configure different well a lot of lot of stuff there's a new there was a new option over there so uh, I could configure it like that, so when it's in middle position, it's gonna be neutral and there, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but when I pull it down, it's now reverse, backwards, now it's going forward. And now, uh, until today, I had this, this is the switch that put the uh, power on to the um, controller. This is the uh, voltage from the um, the batteries, and this is these are the amps that the um, the controller is pulling from the batteries. So these are not the amps the uh, motor is uh, using. But this all was under the seat over here, and it was okay because it was covered from the uh, water and that kind of stuff. But I had to pull it up every time I want to see how many amps. If I have friends on board, they had to jump off and well, I had to look here and also put the power on and off. So now that I don't have to use any kind of a hard cables to control the um, the pot, I will just take the pot. There's just small wires coming from there. 
And this is also kind of an awkward place to to control it. It's really hard to see forward and also control this because every time you have to control this, your head goes down. So it would be a lot better if you build somewhere like here. So if you can see around here, so I could turn the, the throttle from there like this and also I could I also already bought a new one a new uh, display I think it because this is really hard to see when the Sun is shining so I'm gonna put that also I'm gonna make a box around here or somewhere in there and then I have the all the switches here I don't have to lift up the seat to make adjustments or see how many amps I'm using so everything here I can stand like here use the rudder and adjust the uh, throttle from here and also see everything that I need from here and also many different occasions when I have friends on board or something to, when there's more than me here somebody accidentally kicks this and when we are cruising it's gonna go full power or something like that so it's not in good place here because this is not that big the cockpit so yeah that would also make it better to remove it from here and put it up there so nobody's gonna hit it over there oh that's the plan okay <coughs> Welcome back. This is the, uh, the potentiometer, uh, the throttle that is uh, controlling the speed on my electric outboard motor. So, but because the, you can see the angle and the, uh, yeah, it's too short of distance from 0 to 100. So I decided to gear it down now that I have the 3D printer. This is kind of a around 40. 45 degrees the whole range of this and I want to make it around 100 degrees and this is about 100 is Lego to make it like this big the uh, this is I think 120 degrees should be good let's try it out about this size of gear so it's gonna be like this I'm gonna attach the handle to this here. Yeah. So let's get started. I got some measurements over here, but the hardest thing is to try to model it on the uh, 3D software. A few hours later, disassembling this, I got this. Prints are ready now. I printed this with a with a kind of a draft settings to make it faster. So the quality is not that good, but it should be good enough to test it if it works. So here they are. If it works and fits, then I'm gonna print it, print them a little bit better next time. Okay, so the print is now done. This is the handle for the throttle. Okay. Well, I think the uh, adhesion to the uh, print bed is not not a problem anymore. It was it was yesterday. So this should go in here. 
this side and it's just like a snap in there. <laughs> it's gonna work. Whoa! <laughs> it works! Look, this is cool. Now this is the box. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna assemble this. These are the gears that I made for the uh, potentiometer. This is the first more functional prototype of this throttle box that I'm building. These are all the uh, <laughs> the Mark One. I think this was for the gears. This was this was Mark One. This is Mark Two. That one over there is Mark Three. Same goes with this. This box is <laughs> kind of a preload. So these are all chunk. These holes over here, they are connected to these holes over there, so with this I'm gonna mount it to the uh, one inch uh, pipe rod, what you call it, the stainless steel that I got for the support for the solar panel, so it's gonna be up where the solar panels are, about the height of my head. That's what, and it also connects this uh, potentiometer to this box. The lid is over here. It was surprisingly hard to get the holes correct, correctly aligned. So it's gonna be like this. This is the new display for the for the voltage and amp meter that I got for my for my motor, the controller. So with this I can see how many amps I'm drawing from the batteries and also what is the voltage of the batteries. It's gonna be way better than the old one. Snuck fit to here. This hole is for some kind of switch or something to put the put the um, the power on or something like that. Now this is so cool. This snaps on. And I designed designed this this morning without any any reference. Like I just know these kind of things and I'm just just modeled. I, I didn't use any any templates or that kind of stuff, so I'm pretty happy that it fits this good and rotates. So this is gonna be put in here, there's also holes over there to make it to make it fit. I think I'm gonna put it the other way. It's a square so like, like this way. The clicking noise that you hear at the end of the, uh, the forward throttle is there's a micro switch over there. I'm not sure if I'm able to use it, but there's an option on the uh, the controller uh, uh, software, kind of a boost mode that I might be able to use to get uh, like the uh, max amount of amps from the uh, controller. Just before we go to the boat, I want to show you this how this thing works. So now it's in neutral in the center position and it's about 2.5 this is a 5k uh, uh, potentiometer so it goes from 0 to 5 with this uh, new uh, configuration in the controller now it's neutral when it's in the middle so 2.5 and from 2.5 to 5 which is like this it goes forward and from 2.5 to 0 it goes reverse. 
it doesn't go all the way to zero because I have to make some adjustments to the to the gears, but it doesn't matter because I never want to go full speed reverse because it's too much stress for the motor and the boat. It's better to to stop it here and go all the way to the zero. So yeah, that's how it works. So here we are back on my boat. I'm just checking if the new uh, throttle speed controller box is fitting okay here where I where I plan to put it so the plan was to put it somewhere in here but I think it's better over there it's not that waterproof or weatherproof so the further away it's from the uh, the edge of the solar panel it's more it has more cover from the, uh, the weather so around here and the cords that are coming out of the box it's not 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 only one coming out because it's the uh, for the uh, potentiometer but there's gonna be one USB cable for this display and also so I'm gonna add some switches, at least one switch over there, and maybe some LED lights or something displaying the status of the motor. So yeah, there's gonna be some wires coming out. So I'm gonna run them down. I think I'm gonna use the uh, the wind generator pole that is coming down from here goes down to here and there's a hole already for the uh, wind generator so I'm guess I'm gonna use that I'm also maybe trying to reinforce this mount over here just gonna demonstrate you how it should be working this side. it's gonna be here this is fast forward it's neutral, now it's going to reverse. So that's the plan. I I'm going to use these kind of um, things. But I might even print out these if they can handle the stress um, on plastic so then they are not going to rust. Because it's, it doesn't have to be that tight. There's not gonna be that much stress. That prototype over there is. It's gonna work pretty good. But I'm gonna do a little minor tweaks, improvements there to the model and then print it out in, in a better. better plastic with better settings and maybe even make the walls a little bit thicker to make it more robust. But. Now, I'm gonna do that later on when it's closer to summer. And also, then I'm gonna test all the switches and uh... Yeah, I'm gonna just show you quickly the designs that I did for the uh... the controller box. So... This is the box. Um, I'm gonna make a few adjustments to this before the final print. And here is the handle, the stick, and here are the gears that move the potentiometer. So that was it, the first part of making this controller, throttle, motor controller box. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. I'm gonna do a second part once I, once I start to put those components together uh, with the uh, motor controller. 
and also uh, fitting this to the uh, frame on the cockpit so yeah next video is gonna be about the new um, smaller electric outboard motor that I'm building I already got the um, the motor yesterday and I so, so I got the, uh, the smaller controller from the boat so I'm gonna hit to my dad's place and uh, start building the attachments to the um, for the motor to the um, outboard motor shell and uh, try to figure out the uh, the clutch mechanism to connect the axles together and also I wanna remind you I have the patreon page I'm gonna put the link below if you want to support me financially throw a few dollars there it would really help me I would really appreciate it would be a good thing I think that's about it thanks again for watching and uh, see you soon on the next video bye bye